the 2023 presidential election results are coming in gradually. Look at what P2B is doing in Lagos. This is ajar upon all the skirmishes, all the disruptions we have in Lagos. So today, um, the summary is that APC has caught eight votes on presidential um, election. Then Bush Party has caught one. ZLP Party has caught one. PDP has caught one. The other party has caught one. What's the other party name? So the Labour Party has caught 86 Vote. Tinubu won his polling unit anyway. This is another good result for P2B in Aja where he scored 72. Wow, this is very interesting. And another one in a Jeremy Fedolu polling unit 40. He polls 67 to Tinubu's 44. This is very impressive showing for Labour Party in Lagos of all places. Now, let's see a little bit of Port Harcourt. We don't know what is happening in Port Harcourt, but this is an impressive result. 54. White Tinubu is at 3 and Atiku at 2. Wow. Now, let's add this result. It's an impressive showing for Labour Party, considering it's in Mushin. This is supposed to be an APC stronghold. Impressive. Another reverse result in Obiapo, that's the local government area of Governor Wike. This is flawless victory. Another impressive victory in Obia or the same local government upon all that is happening there in rivers. People are afraid there are you know many news flying in the airwaves. Impressive. <laughs> P2B is also having an impressive outing in Edo State. Look at this Asian West Ward 6 pulling unit 9. Impressive. Another Edo where Atiku scored 0, just like Kwan Koso have been scoring. Wow, are these people there? This is really an impressive result. Another is on West Ward 6, polling unit 10. P2B at 90. His result is more than the others combined. Impressive. This one. Hey, this is flawless. 209 to 12 for APC and 6 for PDP. Wow, this is Uromi. Now to acquire bomb. This is an impressive, brilliant result for P2B and Labour Party. 144 to 17 for APC and 15 for PDP. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Now, this is his stronghold, Enugu, but this result, wow, is this an election 250 to 1 for Tinubu and 3 for Atiku in Ensoka? Wow. Still in Enugu, this one is in Isiyama Primary School. It is a flawless victory also, 37 to 0 for APC and 1 for Atiku. Back to Lagos in Urile Agege, this is an impressive outing for Pito B34 to Tinubu's 39. This is one of the APC strongholds in Lagos. Now let's go to Oyo where Pito B won 41 to 13 for APC and 2 for PDP. In a bad on southwest. Another P2B stronghold in Cross River, 160 to 21 for APC and 10 for Atiku. Brilliant. This is Yobe, not Southern Nigeria. It's an impressive performance for Peter Obi upon the fact that he came third. Wow, and this is APC Stronghold. Now, this is an impressive result in FCT. 146 to 14 for APC and 8 to PDP in Bazango West Polling Unit. Biwari. This is another impressive result for Labour Party, 43 to 0. Wow. Now, this one is an impressive result in Ebe, Lagos. 34 for Labour and beating APC in their backyard. Impressive. This is Governor Mackinday's polling unit in Ibado. P2B came second, 82 to 104 for APC and 27 for PDP. Impressive. No need adding Anambra or many southeast states, but this one is very impressive from Kwata in Oka. 141 to 0 for every other candidate. Ah, this is impressive. It's not yet over. This is just to show how P2B is doing. Remember to stay subscribed. Subscribe to our channel now and enable notifications so that you will get all the updates as we get them and upload them. Thanks for watching. What are four? What are five? What are six? What at seven? What at eight? What at nine? One for two. One for two. One for two. One for three. One for four. One for five. One for six. One for seven.